We quickly mentioned about TP and associated cholestasis earlier, and it's a common cause of cholestasis in preterm babies or babies with short gut who need TPN longer than two weeks. Infection could add to this and the TPN components, both amino acid and lipid preparations could contribute. There are recent studies which show SMOF, which is a combination of soy, MCT oil, olive oil, and fish oil to reduce the risk of uh, cholestasis in babies who need long-term TPN. But it's not a major benefit, but it could help. CMA infection might be an additional factor in the extreme premature babies. And in most babies, this improves in a few weeks. So just monitoring and seeing the trend is adequate. And remember that uh, the uh, pathology, the liver biopsy findings overlaps with biliary atresia, so it can be confusing. Because biliary atresia can happen in premature babies as well, the approach is not different. So if a premature baby has persisting jaundice and you are worried, you should approach it the same way as in a term baby. Don't let this conflict your opinion. So this is the picture, as I said, it overlaps a lot. The portal triad, triad is preserved. The sinusoidal pattern is preserved. You often get inflammatory infiltrates coming up. 